Welcome back to the news segment that has more punchlines than Burt Kreischer's entire career. Here at Untold News, we give you the hottest headlines. And the hottest takes. I'm Mark McTinder. And I'm Ricardo Smithington. And joining us in the studio this evening is former public urinator, Dr. Kino motherfucking Kowalski. Good evening, gentlemen. I apologize for the delay. I had to use the bathroom like a normal person because my parole officer won't let me go in the park. Still breathing, I see. We turn our eyes to social media where millions of people across the country are blocking celebrities and influencers in hopes to boycott elitists. I mean, talk about a true act of solidarity. It's got to be up there with Rosa Parks risking her life in the name of racial justice, Gandhi's salt march, and a 15-year-old on their iPhone 15 Plus blocking Kim K because her dress was too expensive. I mean, I, I'm almost in tears of the bravery here because I remember when I had to block five people on Instagram when my girlfriend found my search history. Saying goodbye to Summer Rae was a tough, tough day. I mean, I didn't even know I was one step closer to socioeconomic justice when I had Lizzo blocked back in 2019. Kowalski has the analysis on this. It was truly breathtaking, you know, the youth these days. Uh, but you know what is truly breathtaking? You drop the soap in the shower and then Big John comes along and just... <laughs> and then you yell and you're just taking a big breath and you're... Shut the fuck up and lose the weight, Kowalski! Denny's is open for 24 hours a day. It doesn't mean you need to eat there 24 times! Anyways, we hope you are vegan. Fuck you, vegans. Because the beat between Drake and Kendrick Lamar has reached its peak. Both have released a series of diss tracks against one another, bringing the world of hip-hop to a standstill. I mean, I've heard better bars between two 8th grade girls on hood clips than I've heard between these two guys. And I just know that Drake would love to be in attendance for that rap battle. Come on, I gotta hand to my guy Drake though. It, he just shows you that with enough ghost riders to fill the attendance at a WNBA game and corny one-liners to feed all of Ethiopia, you too can have your dick leaked all over the internet. I just hope he got to keep the wheelchair from the Degrassi show after he got his legs kicked from under him. Speaking of that, Kowalski's actually live in the halls of Degrassi. These are the halls where Drake himself rolled himself because his third leg, AKA his penis, didn't work, so we needed to. The more I hear him talk, Mark, the more I want to force feed myself Tide Pods. Uh, I just, as we were saying, the, the restaurant chain where you can find literally every single person who should not be allowed to vote, aka Red Lobster, has announced bankruptcy. Rumor has it it's the endless shrimp deal that put them in the hole. For fuck's sake, first the five dollar footlong, now this. I mean, where else am I supposed to do blow out of a hooker's ass? You did blow out of the hooker's ass at a Red Lobster? I mean, no. I just blacked out in the bathroom at my cousin's bar mitzvah. But, sounds what? cool. Who the hell would have a bar mitzvah at a Red Lobster? We so we, okay? Times were tough. Kowalski is live from the Red Lobster bathroom. The real issue in the shrimp economy is that, you know, you're catching a bunch of shrimp, but little do you know, when the housing market crashes, and now a word from our sponsors. Do you ever wake up in the morning to your alarm clock and think, fuck, fuck, fuck? Well, those days are over because with Silent Wake, you get all the benefits of an alarm clock with no alarm. With revolutionary technology, Silent Wake plays noise at such a low frequency that you don't even hear it. You never wake up. So every day is a weekend. Work at 9 a.m., early flight to catch. Forget about it because you're sleeping right through that shit. And for an extra $20 a month, you can download the app on your phone that will change your time zone to any other time zone besides the one you're in. Because there's no better feeling in the world than not knowing what the fuck is going on. Silent Wake! We will be ending our evening with the organization that touches more boys on a Friday night than Diddy, the Boy Scouts of America who have decided to move forward with changing their name to Scouting America in hopes to become more inclusive. I mean, the good news is now not only your son, but your daughter now gets the great opportunity to venture into the woods with a complete stranger for a weekend camping trip. What a game changer that would have been when I was a kid. I mean, my first kiss could have been with a girl instead of Scoutmaster Daniel. He didn't have candy in his tent, by the way. Different times, man. Kowalski is live from the tent. The real story is on the funding of the program. All the funds from the program, especially for the name change, has come from P. Diddy's personal bank account in the Cayman. And that about wraps it up. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode, because next week, I'm not gonna have a job. I'm Mark McTender. And I'm Ricardo Smithington, signing off. 
So did, did you actually kiss Scott Master Daniel? No, I didn't kiss. I just gave him a hickey right here. Oh, nice. Was it good? Was it, it was good. I was at uh, Weeblow's Woods and wow. he was tending to the fire. And I went out and I just sucked on his neck there for a second. I'm trying to picture it right now. And I'm really picturing you. I. It was, a moment, it was a moment you wouldn't understand. Besides me and obviously Mr. Daniel. I'm going to keep that between you and Daniel, although I would have liked to join in that one. I don't want you to be included in this. This is a me and Daniel thing, Big D thing. I don't want... I don't want you, you call him Big that. D now? You call Daniel yes. Mason Big D? Yes, that's, that's why I gave him a hickey. That's weird. You want to know how I got the nickname Big D? I think I have a damn good idea. He killed a family of five. Oh shit, okay. That wasn't at all where I thought this was That's going. That's why he's Big D. Dude, seriously. You need have, you have fucking problems. You have fucking problems. Think about that. The bathroom still work. Yeah, you just have to flush six times. You Is go, it a pump? One, two, three, five, six. The last six. time I did it, it didn't fucking work. And so we had girls over. And that never fucking happens. Because you went odd number of this. It's even number this. So, so one, two, three, four. Not one, two, three. Well, maybe you should have a sign about even and odd flush. It says it on there. Whip out your fucking glasses. You know what, dude? I or would read it. There's braille. Contact. There's braille for the blinds. So fucking feel it if you need to feel it. Figure the fuck out.